Yo les Lourman, today we are going to take a look at one of my favorite moves, the Le Bioda. First of all, what's a Le Bioda? It's a trick that falls into the lower category and more specially a bass variation. It's an intermediate level trick that breaks down like a around the world abbas opposite note touch. It's very interesting move because it makes two feet. If you start with your left foot, you will end up with an abbas with your right foot. So that everything is clear for you. When you start your labioda with your weak foot, it is considered as a strong foot trick, you know? Because the abbas is strong foot and we have more trick with your strong foot that your weak foot and if you start with your strong foot it will be considered as a weak foot so what are the base for performing this trick okay let's assume that you want to do it with your strong foot so you will start with your first revolution if your weak foot here are the basics you will need a good Magellan weak foot which will really help you at the start you can even do Magellan outside weak foot if you want to gain even more speed then Timo and Abbas Smith strong foot will be super important you can also do true Abbas strong foot inside and outside and finally combo that will really unlock your the technique is river cross Abbas no touch strong foot to do it weak foot all you have to do is the reverse strong foot gesture with weak foot gesture you know know that you have got the basics and you have probably already tried your first lebioda you now need to try and execute it properly there is the mistake you should don't make but first if you like this type of content bro subscribe like comment okay it's easy easy okay let's go we continue the video okay so we are the mistakes you shouldn't make don't bend your leg during the habas your foot should go all the way around the ball and not take a shortcut do a real habas with lift don't just do a reverse crossover around the wall no touch and finally make sure you go around the ball during your around the wall even with this advice you may find it's hard to put on the labiota or to master it and that's normal it's fairly complex process so i'm going to give you a few tips to make it easier firstly if you're doing an inside labiota when you start the lift from your around the world should be directed towards the foot that's doing the habas if you are doing an outside labiota i advise you to direct the lift of your around the world towards the center then it's important to choose the right height don't do it too hard otherwise you will have less balance on your habas and don't do it too low or you will have very little time to do your habas it's up to you to find the height that suits your best in relation to your height personally i am comfortable on the lebioda when the around the world reach the a of my stomach normally with these tips and a bit of practice you should be able to pull off the lebioda to give you some inspiration here are three combos you can do with this trick If you manage to do the Lebioda or even one of this combo, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments and post your video on Instagram or on TikTok mentioning us so we can see your progress and don't forget to like and share the video, it supports us and encourages us to make a better video. So guys, see you next week, no, normally this video will be out on Wednesday, so I think, see you Sunday guys.